Hi guys, Vintage Kohler, and I wanted to do a short video kind of in response to KDMC Plumbing's recent videos with uh, flushing his American Standard aft wall and his uh, Kohler Kingston water guards. And I figured since I have a Sifton, this would be a real good way to demonstrate uh, part of what he was trying to demonstrate. Um, toilets like this Sifton or the old standard uh, Madeiras or the Kohler Rockwells and Downings and Penrins you can see they have no siphon jet that's visible but what they d usually have are I'm going to try and uh, zoom in here see those two holes right there those are siphon jets those are concealed siphon jets that are they're right behind this trapway lip and they're pointing up the trapway so they blow water up into the trap now on a blowout toilet those jets are designed to simply blow water up the trapway and suck any contents behind from the bowl out with it. But on a siphon jet toilet, <coughs> those jets are designed to simply fill up the trap to start the siphoning action. And I think what uh, what KDMC Plumbing was demonstrating was that often if you bucket flush a toilet like this, it doesn't make much of a gurgle because the siphon gets broken when the water uncovers those holes. The water uncovered, those holes are higher than the trapway itself, as you can see. So, as the water level recedes in the bowl from a siphon, it uncovers those jets first, and the siphon is broken from the air. Uh, it's broken from the jets and actually up through the spud area and those jets are also open to the rim so that that breaks the siphon before the water just before the water actually has a chance to gurgle from this point so it's really easy to see that on a on a blowout toilet because the trap obviously the trapway just goes up and out like this trapway is higher than the bowl well, higher, higher than the trap in the bowl, as opposed to a Kingston water guard. Obviously, the jet is exposed here, so there's nothing, there's no other jet further up in this trapway to interfere with a siphoning action, to interfere with the gurgle when the water, the siphon does break and the toilet gurgles. This siphon jet on the 70s and 80s and 90s Kingston water guards happens to be fed from a passage that leads from the front of the the rim and goes down here feeds the jet the late 60s uh, 1966 to 70 Kohler Kingston and Corwin's had a jet that was in that same location but it was fed from uh, from some side channels that went from this part of the toilet up and up into the spud area so it was kind of it was a backfed siphon jet even though it was an exposed jet so hopefully that makes sense and if it, it's very difficult to see otherwise that is what the siphon jets pretty much look like on a standard Madeira toilet or a standard Glencoe or a Kohler, Rockwell, Downing, Penryn, Welland, Brooklyn's, the old 40s and 50s Kohler Wellworth toilets had jets like this. The old 40s, 50s, early 60s Kingston's, Kohler Kenwin's, my Kenwin has these jets, and obviously the Sifton and Stratton toilets. So, uh, 
Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.